Hello, hello gang. Kim here and welcome on back to My Happy Place. So today's video, as you could see from the title, no doubt, is a reveal and post review. This is the canvas that I completed in December and I submitted this one as my entry for Jingle Drills 2022. So without further ado, here is, this is Hope Runs Deep by Chuck Pinson and produced, I should say, manufactured, released by Diamond Art Club. So just to give you the full effect, I'm just going to pan up and down a little bit. Pretty much the entire image is in the screen, but I'm just going to do this just so that you can see the entire thing. So like I say, this is pretty much all in frame, so you should be able to have a good look at this one. This one is really really gorgeous i mean the camera almost seems to be dulling the the colors a little bit the colors are actually brighter in real life than they seem to be through the lens but before we get into any of that let's do some stats so like i say this is hope runs deep by chuck pinson the size was 76 by 56 centimeters there were 49 colors with three ABs. Um, I'll talk some more about the ABs just now. And the total drill count was just over 53,200 drills. I would say that this canvas lends itself more to an advanced diamond painter, maybe intermediate to advanced, just because of the amount of confetti in this one. You do have to like confetti, you have to have a lot of patience, and obviously this one is going to go a little bit slower. So, what should I talk about first? Okay, so firstly, those of you that know Diamond Art Club are familiar with the canvas. The canvas is very soft and velvety. It has this uh, scalloped edge so that you don't get fraying and you don't get bits of cloth onto the glue. The glue in this specific canvas was perfect. I didn't have any slippery areas and I didn't have any non-sticky areas. The symbols... Again, as we are used to with Diamond Art Club, perfect. I actually never ever get a blurry symbol with DAC unless there has been a printing error. I have had one canvas where a very small section almost had double print on it and that created a blurry effect. But the symbols themselves are, are absolutely clear and you shouldn't have any issues. Um, right, so let's talk a little bit about the process, the rendering, color blocking versus confetti and so on. So basically, as with many landscapes, this is a confetti heavy canvas. I actually think that the rendering was pretty good and that the image came out really nicely and that a lot of confetti was needed in order to get that sort of clarity. I mean, it is one of the reasons why I don't really tend to work on landscapes often. Um, although I do enjoy the end result, the confetti can sometimes get a little bit too much for me. On this specific canvas, if you have a look up here in the sky, so, I mean, firstly, aren't those colors just so stunning? These colors here of the sunset sky, I just thought were beautiful. And then going into the blues and the purples, also stunning. But what I really wanted to say is there were small sections of color blocking up here. But that is really all. Um, I know that the church probably looks like it had a lot of color blocking as well. But the church was actually a lot of line blocking because the colors in this section here are whites and pinks and purples with white ABs around the outside to sort of create the border. I actually think the church is stunning. It's the centerpiece of this canvas and it really did come out beautifully. I think it was rendered so well and the use of the ABs in this church um, I thought just worked. You know, it just really, really looks good. So on that point about the color blocking and the confetti, 
Those of you that do a lot of landscapes, you know you have to love confetti. If you are somebody who likes a good balance, then this one probably won't be for you either because I would say this one had about 10 to 15% color blocking and around 85 to 90% confetti. So that said, this canvas did take me a little bit longer to complete than normal. I also found that I needed a break. <laughs> Um, I would do maybe a, a good few sections or a good few rows and then I wouldn't work on it for days and days and I would go and work on something else. Once I got about halfway, 60% of the way, I actually had to force myself to complete this one. <laughs> and to that extent, I'm very happy that I had actually entered it into an event because it spurred me on and it motivated me to get this one finished. Now, please don't take any of this as a negative. I mean, you can obviously see from the end result that this is really a stunning piece. You also know that Chuck Pinson's landscapes are confetti heavy. So if you are going to buy something like this, take it slow, take it easy, do little bits at a time if that's what you need to do. But if you enjoy or love the end result, then I highly recommend this one. Um, as I mentioned already, I think the church, the centerpiece, just rendered so nicely and it is so pretty. I'm someone who's a little bit on the fence in general with ABs. I'm not the biggest fan of them just because I don't always find that they make a huge difference to the canvas. Like sometimes I can't really even see ABs. I have to have the light on the canvas at a very specific angle to note the ABs. And I do note also that DAC is very selective with ABs. They will often use them, in, you know, incredibly sparingly. This is one canvas where I really loved the AB placement and I thought that it added a lot to the painting. For example, I've already mentioned that there are sections in the church where the outline is done in ABs, even up to the steeple here and the cross on the, on the top of the church. Um, ABs are also used in the roof of some of these log cabins. I'm just trying to see if I can get the shimmer there um, for you. Basically, all this here is ABs. And then if we go to the other side of the canvas, uh, sorry, give me a sec, there we go. So now on this side of the canvas with this specific log cabin, this whole, you know, top, the, the roof of the cabin here is also ABs. So I did enjoy the AB placement in this specific canvas and I really thought that it worked nicely. Um, there were three ABs. Now, maybe I should have said this at the beginning. Those of you that aren't familiar with ABs, they are special drills that are included in the kits. Um, they have an extra shimmery, shiny coating on them so that they will shine brighter than the other drills. So they actually are supposed to draw your eye to certain sections of the canvas. So like I said, in this canvas, there were three ABs. Um, there was the 141, which is the white AB, which has been used in the church. Um, Diamond Art Club basically has 141 in just about every canvas. Then there was a yellow AB, and there was a 126, which I can't picture now. I think that was a slightly off pink AB. So the whites and the off pinks were used in the buildings on the roof and basically to create the effect of snow. That's what I think. I think it's supposed to be snow on the cabin, um, you know, on the tops of the cabin cabins. And so I think that's where the ABs were used. The 132, which is an orange AB, there were a minute amount of those drills. And I think they were used maybe 10 of them in the entire canvas. That is a slight pet peeve of mine. Like, I don't see why one needs to do that or why companies claim that the kit has three ABs and then when you get to one of the AB colors, there are about 10 drills on the entire painting. So for me, I would, you know, I prefer that that when kits are produced, the companies don't do that. If you're gonna use ABs, 
give a decent amount and use them around. To me, there really is no point of, of 10 drills on the entire canvas. But anyway, rant over. <laughs> Um, that's just to say the yellow AB, you're not going to really see it here because it's hardly anywhere. I think it's here. I think that's the only place it is, is in this window. There are about 10 drills there. So in general, yes, this is a kit with three ABs, but pretty much you can consider it having two ABs. Um, what else? Symbol clarity was absolutely fine. We will have a look at some of the symbols and the leftover drills that are in my storage container shortly. There was also very little trash. The drills were generally excellent. I'm not someone who t really takes note of trash. I don't keep it aside. I don't put it in a separate container to show you afterwards because for me, the concept and the discussion of trash is irrelevant. Provided you have enough drills to finish the canvas and provided you haven't been forced to use trash drills to get the canvas finished, I don't care about trash. I will just always mention to you whether I thought there was a little bit or a lot. With Diamond Art Club, I'm yet to do a review where I say there was a lot of trash. Um, in some of the older squares, that is not 100% true because some of the older Diamond Art Club squares weren't the best, especially the three tens. But in general, the new kits and specifically the rounds, but also the new squares are amazing and you will have very little trash. Um, what else to say? I think that is pretty much it. I'm just going to finish off in the general review by just talking about the rendering. I thought the rendering was lovely. I think I've mentioned already there was a fair amount of line blocking in this canvas as well. In some of the um, cabins in the church, the entire church was line blocking. Um, and then basically confetti and the rest. For me, the rendering is really good without being brilliant. And I mean, that's not a criticism of Diamond Art Club. There's a lot going on in this piece and there are a lot of small items or small characters for example this is a little girl this is a horse this is a dog there are birds sitting on the railing and around the canvas as well now from further away and looking at this canvas through the lens those things are all coming out pretty clearly from where i'm standing they look like blobs <laughs> But we all know diamond paintings are supposed to be viewed from a distance. So from a distance, this is a really well-rendered canvas. My only criticism, and I'm probably being very picky now, is this, that this one would probably have been better in squares, because obviously with squares you get more detail. But that said, there are lots of people who love their rounds, and so I don't fault Diamond Art Club for releasing this as a round. Um, that is really all I have to say about this. I think I did mention at the beginning that there were 49 colors. So this isn't one of those 60 color type of canvases. So even though there's a lot of confetti, there are only 49 colors, which I think was a decent amount of colors for this canvas. Now, let's have a quick look at my leftover drills and at some of the symbols that you need to just be a bit weary of. Right, so I had kitted up in this Elizabeth Ward container. So as you can see, or well, I hope you can see, I'm just going to try and shake them down. I have a number of leftover drills. Um, there wasn't anything that, or any color that I nearly ran out of. I think you can see through the viewfinder here that there are drills left over in every single compartment. Um... Even some of the ABs had quite a, a, a lot left over. This is the 126, which I said is the off pink color. It's like a pinky purple color. There were quite a lot of those left over. Um, this was the orange, not very many of those, but there weren't very many of those included because like I said, there were only about 10 drills on the entire canvas. So really no issues with, the, with leftover drills. In terms of symbols, the only thing to note is something that Diamond Art Club does do, and we are familiar with it, and that is these triangles that point in different directions. 
So basically, I don't think this was an issue in this canvas because the colors are all very different. This was a brown drill, this was a, a flesh color pinky, and this was a, what is this? This is a red. So you couldn't really get those confused on the canvas, but it is just something, you know, to bear in mind and to note. So that is really the drills. No issues and no complaints about that. I know that some people like to see the pens that I used. As always, I'm so sorry guys, I can't tell you necessarily where I got these pens. I went through a stage of buying a lot of blanks and just sending them to different pen turners and having the pens made. So this one, I really think is stunning. It's got these blues and blacks and it almost shimmers with an off green color. So this one is one of my favorites. And then this one, I do know where it came from. This comes from that French pen shop. They used to have a store on Etsy, but I believe that they now sell through their own website. Um, if I remember, I will try and link the store below. So that's also a really, a really pretty one that I love. Okay, so that's my pens, my drills. I think, I think that about summarizes all I have to say for this kit. I don't think there's much else. If there's something I left out or you have any questions, please do, you know, post your questions below and I will get back to you. I'm just checking my notes quickly to see if there is anything that I left out. Um, no, I do sometimes include a photo of the finished canvas so that you can get the full, you know, effect of it. But I don't think I need to do that here, but because this is a landscape, it's pretty much fitting nicely into the into the screen or the viewfinder and so I'm not going to do that. So yes guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you guys had fun if you entered Jingle Drills and that you managed to finish your canvas. I don't think a finish was required but I like to always try and push myself to get them finished. Thanks everyone, thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and also to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hang out with you more often. Thanks everyone, have a great week, happy diamond painting, bye!